Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm here with you to share a very good news and a very exciting uh, collaboration coming on because I had um, a chance to be a part of the design team member of a Creative Paper Artisan. So the kit uh, which I will show you and use today in my project for this KPA design team uh, was Vintage Valentine. The link will be in the description box and you can get 35% uh, off buying these kits. So um, let's bear with me and first I will um, make a flip through of all the beautiful paper that we have in this kit. And uh, then I will make a small project. So for this project, I want to uh, fold my paper to have two pointy uh, triangle on the top. So I will fold it uh, this way and making sure I have something uh, quite um, good on this line here. Yeah. I have something here, which is not good. I have to push back. So then you have to uh, you have to decide um, which part you want in the inside and which which part you want in the outside. Which means what is the main color of your paper that you want more visible. And I decided that I will do it the other way around to a more of the pale tone showing on my project and now what you have to do is you have to fold the bottom part into uh, three pieces like so so up matching the bottom part here and again creasing with your bone folder will help you to have and for the left part you don't want to go behind that part here you don't want something to go to, to be stick out so you want it to be uh, less than this one or even shorter if you want depending on how wide how wide you want your pocket to be so for me i think this side will be a good size because I want to send that as a happy mail. So to finish this, you stuck this part in. Okay. So um, what you can see is just what you can make from now on. You can glue that down here and just have a, a pocket with a different text spot here to add some uh, ephemera so 
so you will have that and even that and even that if you glue uh, three parts down but uh, what I was thinking is I will make a flip out of this stuffed pocket then I there. so when you open this uh, folio this threefold pocket here we will have uh, to make uh, a center pocket here and I will use um, some of this labor here so bear with me and i'll come back after okay so i get uh, my pockets and i want to show you something for this kind of pocket i always leave a little bit of uh, white paper on the top to uh, make a fold here to reinforce the uh, flap the pocket here the top part of the pocket okay so use this cute little angel here with some fluffy thread on the back side on the back of it um, and let's grab it for two seconds and for the inside here i will maybe add a little ribbon here Okay, so you have some writing space here. Nice, okay. So for this pocket inside, I will use a bigger tag here. So all I did is I inked my background and then I glue the sheet of the tags directly on my uh, paper with a cheap glue stick. And uh, I don't care if it's not permanent because uh, for this particular project, I will sew all around my tags. Uh, okay, I'm back. I have sewn around uh, my lace pocket and uh, anything that I wanted to. So I have sewn around uh, this pocket. I have sewn here. I have sewn uh, this one and anything. I have also uh, sewn my uh, little embellishments, tags, and uh, 
little card and anything. Uh, some of them are in nice stitches. Some are very uh, wonky like this one or this one. You can make um, as simple or as uh, dirty as you want. Here I have uh, add some thread on purpose here. So they are all nice. And now I will start to embellish uh, my three fold pocket. So let's start about the inside. So on the inside I will make, I will take a big tag here, which is nice. What can I add on this one? These one are labels that I made myself with stamp and cut out. So maybe I can use this one here uh, with a piece of burlap underneath. And I will add also this little art here, like that. Okay, so let's take my fabric tag. I will speed up the process of the decoration because I think everybody uh, knows how we can embellish uh, things a little bit and it's a total personal uh, choice. So I will add some uh, hole and some uh, brads or um, highlight here and add some thread to, uh, to add to make a topper of the tag, or maybe I will uh, make some lace or anything. I'm not sure right now. Maybe for this one, I can just make something like that. I kind of like that. So let's see how this goes. And uh, to fix that, I will just, um, Add a little uh, stitch around that.
Okay, everyone, I'm back. I finished everything for my KPA design team project for creative paper artisan with the kit vintage Valentine. So here we go for the flip through. I hope uh, you will enjoy that as much as I have enjoyed doing it. So I tied a knot with a double ribbon here to keep the pocket close so let's put that on the side for now so on the first on the front we have an hiding a writing spot here which i uh, use a little uh, earth stamp here with the ribbon here on this first page uh, we got a little cluster with a tiny angel from the kit um earth stamp and inside we have three little embellishments, three little tags, which are nicely uh, sewn around and uh, with some thread. On the middle part, we have this little, this big tag with um, fabric, um, how does it call that? Fabric um, washi tape, fabric washi here. So with this little angel here, there's some um, fluffy um, kind of thing, thing here with some thread. The back is like that. On the inside here, we have a little envelope, which is part of the kit with this little bee inside also. You can write a little uh, love message on the back. I use a small temp stamp with a nice ribbon on the cover of the envelope. And then we have this little uh, tag here. We, and I made a knot to tie the ribbon on the top. Nice back too. So that is that. Here on the back side, we have our little angel with some thread, the same thread that I use here to tie the top. Okay. Then we have two little journaling cards here. Where you can add some pocket. I had a little hurt here. Then, uh, oh, I didn't uh, talk about you about this cluster which uh, was sent to me uh, by a friend, which I love, so I use it here. On the back side, we have this big pocket, and I had one of my heart cluster that I made um, a few months ago. I have a video about that in my uh, channel. You can check that out in the cluster um, playlist. I will try to link it on the, um, on the right top corner on the uh, video editor. And then you have a Valentine card here inside this pocket with a little tag here, which is nice. I have added a nice uh, cluster here. And on the inside, pocket we have another tag which i really love again i made a little cluster here and i tied it with a ribbon and i put a stamp love and laughter forever after i really love that so it does got here and then that's it so i hope you enjoy this video let me close that again I was really happy um, and that Karen chose me to be part of the design team. So I hope I will uh, do my best to honor, to make uh, honor of her paper. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please go and check out all the members of the design team uh, for KPA so you can check out their project as well. Um, and I will see you soon. 
So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button. Then you can get um, no, you can get um, notified when I upload a new content. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.